Welcome. Today we are going to learn how to apply a below elbow fiber cast or a coolies cast. For it, we require a cotton soft roll, a stocking net, and a fiber cast. Now, this patient had an undisplaced uh, distal and radius fracture, which was an extra articular fracture, and we decided to put a below elbow fiber cast. So, before application of the fiber cast, the site is thoroughly cleaned and dried. So the next step will be application of a stocking net. I'm uh, making a small opening for the thumb. Now this layer of stocking net, it is usually applied next to the skin and it has several functions. It helps prevent the limb hairs becoming caught in the plaster and it, faci and it facilitates the conduction of perspiration from the limb. It removes any roughness caused by the ends of the plaster and it may aid in the subsequent removal of the plaster. After the plaster has been applied, the stocking net will be turned back which I'll show you in the upcoming video. Here I'm applying an antifungal dusting powder over the stocking net so as to uh, prevent itching after the cast. So after this, a layer of uh, cotton soft roll is uh, being applied over the fracture part of the patient. Now the most important part is that we have to keep the stocking net and the cotton. We have to apply it in such a way that there should not be any wrinkle. So one has to take a lot of care in applying it uh, very cautiously so that there are no wrinkles. So there are, I have applied just two layers of this cotton. This is a soft roll cotton pad 4 inches. Now after application of the soft roll, uh, we will apply the fiber cast. This is a 4 inch fiber cast. Some people uh, use a 3 inch fiber cast for uh, the forearm fractures. So after dipping it in a mild lukewarm water, I'll wrap it around the forearm and wrist of the patient. Now once we come near the thumb, it is important to trim the cast here at the base of the thumb and we almost trim it around 80 to 90 percent of the cast width of the cast so that it can be easily wrapped around the around the hand of the patient so after giving two layers we'll cut this uh, fiber cast and i'll keep it aside now the stocking net is being turned back over the fiber cast And a bit of small molding here yeah I'm trying to do a bit of molding of the cast now once we are uh, we show that the patient uh, is in a good position so we will apply the rest of the fiber cast so here again once we reach the thumb we'll cut it cut it almost around 90% of the car width of the cast will be cut so that we will wrap it around the hand of the patient and then we will go across the wrist and we will end our fiber cast here so once this happens now the most important step is that we have to look uh, for any uh, overhanging of the fiber cast here I found one and decided to trim the excess of fiber cast so that it becomes very comfortable for the patient now once it has been done the most important step will be the molding of the cast here i'm taking use of some water and i'll be gently molding the cast without causing any discomfort to the patient Now uh, the patient should be comfortable while flexing the elbow and extending and uh, all the fingers should be comfortable and moving. 
So here is what is important in a below elbow fiber cast that it should not extend uh, beyond the distal palmar crease and the metacarpophalangeal joint should be free so that the finger movements can be allowed and they should be comfortable. Patient should be given instructions that the plaster should neither be too tight nor too loose. We have to keep the limb elevated in, an, in a sling or an arm pouch. We have to keep moving all the fingers, elbows and shoulders and uh, watch for swelling of fingers, finger discoloration or increasing pain which is not responding to usual dose of analysis have to report to hospital as soon as possible. I hope you liked the video. If you did, kindly share, subscribe, like and comment. Thanks for watching.